Richard, Crimson Coils. I've seen that word on Twitter and I'm seeing it on Facebook. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Yeah, Crimson Quill came about uh, about three or four months ago. Um, and Rivers of Grew, which is the name of the site, um, was an idea that I come up for, come up with um, for something a little bit different. Um, there's a lot of horror sites on the internet. Mm, if I'm honest, not that many that really jump out. Um, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. So uh, with Crimson Quill, with that synonym, uh, basically it's um, it's semi-autobiographical. Uh, there's a sort of poetic flavour to a lot of the appraisals as well um, and also it flits between English and American styles it's very very uh, erratic and purposely everything that's done is is done purposely but these are let's get this to understand is it reviews of film of horror films yes yeah horror films or anything that's considered a cult film so any sort of sci-fi classics and things like that um, to be clear, I, I can't stand the word review, I find it really crass. Um, and another thing about this angle is by appraising, basically what I want to be doing is signposting people to the films they should have watched. I'm not interested in lambasting every film that comes out and, and, and sort of, you know, massaging my ego in, you know, in the process. I'm more interested in letting people know you know what they should be watching, and it's a very personal review. So, and these these are reviews or appraisals. Uh, are these? Um, they're not all, are they all complimentary? Um, do you know what? Actually, I I posted the first one yesterday, which wasn't. Um, and there will, you know, obviously I can't expect my work to be taken seriously if I'm just saying everything's great. Um, it's not generally what I'm about, and because of the fact that I'm not. It, nothing's time specific. I've been going back to films from sort of the 70s, the 80s, the 60s, um, and by doing that, at the moment, I've been cherry picking. So um, a lot of the stuff that's going up is stuff that people want to read about, and a few little indie gems that people don't know about. But over time, yeah, there'll be a, there'll be you know the quill will have to be a little bit more harsh. It's just, I'm in this forest because uh, or this wood because I'm filming a news item and the news item goes on. This photo shoot, what what, what happens to this? photo shoot? Uh, this is going to be going straight up onto, uh, it's called the Galleries of Gru uh, and it's on the site. Um, at the moment it's work in progress, um, by the end of the weekend we aim to be getting some of these pictures up um, and there's going to be a lot of shoots. Um, also we're looking at, um, I'm in talks at the moment with, uh, with a new uh, novelist, a guy by the name called C. William Giles, we're looking at the idea of, uh, of getting his book made into a screenplay, obviously he's a writer, I'm a writer, um, as well as that a few independent horror companies in America have shown interest, um, So, and we've done podcasts as well, so it's kind of, it's in, in that kind of evolution process, in a year's time, you know, I could be sort of working on something completely different, working on a screenplay, but right now, um, Crimson Quill is where my heart is and it's, it's all about bringing the horror to you fine people.